What's good, grind schoolers? It's your boy Rob, and today we got kind of a lot of a lot to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Um, things have changed significantly after what happened yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna get all up into it, man. Um, before we get into the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time we drop another video. Um, so I think the plans for both cars have changed all the way around. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna flip this camera around. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about. All right, y'all. So, um, I think what I want to do with the Impala, my my plan to change everything or to leave everything alone has changed, I believe, significantly. Um, so, pretty much what I'm talking about is I think I'm going to LS the Impala. So, um, before, you know what I'm saying, like I had said that, you know what I mean? I want to do the LS swap on the Elko, but I wasn't too thrilled about, um, you know what I'm saying, snatching the whole drive train out and doing all, all that kind of stuff and have the car just sitting here when I can't drive it or whatever. Because this one is, um, I would say, more together as far as look-wise than the Impala. Um, and so i rather, like, really enjoy this one in the summer. This is the first one I got done anyway. And it's running. Everything's good. So yesterday, everything changed completely. And also, too, a large majority of y'all were saying that, you know what I'm saying, like, I should keep the small block in here. So um, I think at least for now, you know what I'm saying, the small block is going to stay. And so pretty much I don't want to... Um, I don't want to mess with I don't want to mess with this car. I don't want to do anything different to it right now just because um the car runs, it sounds great, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, so this motor here that means that this motor is going to have to do something different. You know what I mean? Cuz I pretty much got everything that I need under there besides the cam kit. Um I got everything pretty much that I need to build the motor. Um and so it's like, well, do I just leave that stuff there, leave it alone, whatever, until I get to it or whatever? And so I got to thinking that maybe I will, excuse me, do an LS build on the Impala. Now, I said before that I didn't want to take the Impala's motor out because it runs good and everything like that. But this is a dog. It's very slow. Um, you know, obviously, the car is not a race car. But I do want a little bit more pep in, in my step, you know what I'm saying, if that makes sense. So, um, what happened yesterday was the Elko passed emissions. Yeah, so the Elko passed emissions, so I'm good on my tags and my plates and everything for another five years. Um, and so, I don't have to worry about emissions. So, that means that the motor and everything in here can stay and I don't have to worry about it. Um, and that allows me the opportunity to go ahead and... You know what I'm saying? Get the Impala to where it should be. You know what I'm saying? Like the LT1 is great and everything like that. But in order to even put, you know what I'm saying, make this car what it should be, um, the, you know, I'm going to have to spend so much motor on, or so much money on the LT1. And I don't really want to do that. Um, when in reality, all I got to do is put this motor together and put it in here. Because I got all the stuff. I got my heads. Like I said, I got my, my, the motor, the block, you know what I'm saying? Pistons, everything that I need to build the motor. And since I pass emissions and you know what I'm saying? Like the, I don't feel like taking the small block out of here just yet. Um, and I got a lot more time It opens up the opportunity to put it in here. So, um, I think that's what I want to do with the Impala, man. Um, like I said, and it's, it's just sitting over here collecting dust, as you can see. Like, it's super, super dusty. You know what I'm saying? The car hasn't been really moved besides me, like, kind of just starting it and pulling it out and pulling it back in um, for, I don't know, how long y'all haven't seen it on the channel. Um, and the reason being is obviously because the tubular control arms, you know what I'm saying, the upper and lowers, I was trying to get those in, but I didn't end up, um, I didn't end up getting them yet you know what i'm saying it's like 15 15 to seventeen hundred dollars it's a good little chunk of change just to get the upper and lower control arms and i got so much other stuff going on man so uh you know when those get here when i get them i'll get them it is what it is but until then so that i can drive the car this is also something that changed 
I am going to just install ball joints. So I'm gonna install the ball joints on the existing control arms there. Um, I figure it would be okay because I don't drive this car that much and I won't be driving it that much, especially if I'm gonna swap the motor. But I do wanna get everything that I can together together. Um, and then, like I said, I could change the ball joints. The ball joints would be good in there until I do the motor swap because I could do the motor shop swap and do the um, control arms and stuff like that. Um, when I get to that point in the build, but right now I can enjoy it, drive it, you know what I'm saying, go have fun and whatever, instead of it just sitting here collecting dust. So we do have a few more things that, you know, we need to get done for the Impala. I got to get my emblems and logos and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I got to paint my taillights, do some things like that. And I think I, like I said, I'm going to start prepping to get this LS build done. And I think what I'm going to do also is I'm going to go ahead and um, get everything that I need as far as, you know, to make this happen, um, obviously, before I do anything on the car. So, like I said, I don't really have too much that needs to be, like, done here. Um, also, too, I wanted to do the fabricated intake for the Elko instead of the Impala. I'd rather the you know, stock LS1 style intake manifold so that it looks factory under there. But um, if I don't use um, the fabricator on here, it's just pretty much gonna go to waste or I'll just have to sell it because um, I'm not going to, if I, if I don't use it, it's not gonna go in here. And, you know, I don't want, like I said, I want an LS style so it looks stock and factory under there, but I might just, just say F it and just use the fabricated one and just call it good, you know what I'm saying? Just because I have it and prevent from me, you know what I'm saying? Like spending extra on the intake for no reason because with the other block, if I LS this one with this motor, this is pretty much stock um, because stock internals, um, 799 heads, you know, Corvette heads or whatever, and then, you know, camshaft. And it should wake this car up. Also, what's going to change on the Impala 2, the exhaust. So, um, I am going to, I said that I was going to do Flowmaster 40s on here. Um, but that was before I decided that I think I'm going to LS swap. Originally, I wanted these uh, spin techs because I wanted it to go with the LS because it sounds really crazy with an LS under the hood. You know what I'm saying? But they don't sound too desirable with the LT1. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know what it is. LT1s are just not that great of sounding motors, to me at least, With depending on the mufflers that you have, unless you go with some headers or something like that. I'm not going to go with no headers, and it's very difficult to find an LT1 that sounds good, that doesn't sound like it's you know, trying to spit something out of the exhaust um, in uh, with an LT1 with any type of muffler. So the super or the, the super 40s, I think, would have been the closest that I could get their sound to be like refined and sound good without it sounding like it's spitting stuff out. Um, and so I was going to do that, but I'm not going to do that anymore. Since I'm an LS swap it, I'm going to keep the spin text on this car because they were going to go on the Elko and then I was going to do something different here and then sell the ones here. But, um, since I am going to LS swap this one, I'll go ahead and use the spin text and I'll just get the exhaust done, um, how it needs to get done, just replace my mufflers to where they need to go and then get the piping done and we'll be good to go on this car. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and pass this car's emissions um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and after I'm done getting emissions for this car, hopefully they give me five year place. I think this car's up for five year place. I think it's like 25 years or something like that. But um. If they give me five year place on this, I'll go ahead and LS swap it. Um, LS swap shouldn't be uh, a big deal for this car as it is for this car, you know what I'm saying? In in my state, you know, but because it's essentially like the same type of technology, um, or similar type technology. Um, but anyways, so like I said, man, we have officially changed plans. Um, I'm actually gonna pull the Impala out so you guys can see it a little bit because. We haven't even, you know what I'm saying, talked about the Impala for a minute. I'll take it for a little spin, a little ride, I guess, um, up the block so y'all can see, you know what I'm saying, the Impala for a second. All right, y'all. Got the amp out. Started up. I'm going uh, to 
gonna go ahead and move this and move this into the middle because I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna wash it. I'm gonna just spray the water on it. I'm not gonna go too crazy, but I'm gonna just get all this dust off real quick. Uh, like I said, man, it's just been piling and piling. Um, so I want to make it look a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. Um, and before that, it had a lot of swirl marks on it. So and now I'll probably spray the oven cleaner on there and wash that off too. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and move this. And then I'll move this over and we can, you know what I'm saying, get this spray. All right, y'all. Finally got the car all cleaned up. I wasn't even going to do that. But like I said, it was collecting a lot of dust. And I forgot how clean this thing looked, man. Like it's had dust on it for, for a long time. Uh, and I know, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't got my little mini me with me. Wave baby to the camera. She on a little stroll with me just around the neighborhood. Um, there's still a few things that gotta get put together. Uh, obviously you see stuff hanging and stuff like that. We gotta get all that together. And then the car would be pretty straight to be able to drive and roll around and stuff like that, man. Um, yeah, like I said, I could do a little uh, quick cut and buff on here because you can see a lot of orange spill. But at least the paint doesn't feel like the, the poly, I mean the Elko did. It's not all um, like rough and stuff like that. That's because my flash times were okay. But for the most part, man, just over here getting it clean. Thought I'd give y'all a little walk around because I ain't like really showed this car too much. Um, and for the last, I guess about two months maybe. Uh, just because I ain't really been doing nothing with it, man. It's just been kind of sitting. Like I said, that's why I was collecting dust. But we gonna uh, keep on getting stuff knocked out on this thing. Like I said, I'll replace the ball joints and I'll start driving it, man. And then I'll get the uh, exhaust done. And then maybe for like the uh, winter time, I'll probably start working on that LS. Um, at least putting it in, you know what I'm saying? I think I could get everything together to at least get the car, um, get everything together to at least get it put into the car during the winter time. So uh, yeah, man, I'm happy with the way she looked, man. Um, got still a few things to button up and then we'll be good to go, man. All right, y'all. Right after I cut the camera off, the car died on me. Uh, ran out of gas, so I went and got some gas. I'm like literally right next to my house, though. Like literally, probably like 100 feet away from my house. So worst comes to worst, if it don't start, go ahead and push it back. See if I can get somebody over here to push it back. But man, look at the paint. Before I got cut off or before I cut the camera off, I was saying that, you know what I'm saying? Dang, it's dusty already, just whatever. But I was saying I should, uh, I'll probably cut and buff this car too, just to get some of the orange peel out. The paint job ain't gonna be perfect, but to get some of that orange peel out and make it flat, it'll be super clean. But anyways, I'm about to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, fill this thing up with some gas. I already got my gas can back here. Um, five gallons, or almost five gallons. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna start the car up and we'll take it back home. All right, y'all. Oh man, you see that sun smacking off of the paint? But yeah, anyways, we made it to the crib. Um, I guess idling and you know revving it up and starting the car takes a lot of gas because um, I guess maybe it's been a while since I put gas in it since it died right here when it was snow on the ground. That's probably been about three months. So I could probably see how it could be ran out or whatever. Um, still got a little paint on the wheels but you know it's coming off slowly but surely but anyways man um like i said made it home so i guess that's gonna do it for now um and just stay tuned with this impala man because we about to get on it too all right y'all that's gonna do it for this video man i hope y'all enjoyed it um like i said we have big plans for the impala they're switching up i know i switch things up all the time but if you a car person, man, you understand, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, plans always, always, always change, especially if you got project cars, man, because you might think something one day is good and then come back and have a whole different type of pr perspective on it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like I said, uh, since the Elko passed emissions, that changes my game plan for the next five years at least. Um, and the small block in this car is good. My main reason for changing it was due to the emissions. But since I got the emissions, we good. We'll just change the rear end. We'll see what the small block does. If it if it gets loose like I'm expecting it to get loose, then 
you know what I'm saying? Like we'll just handle all the rest of the little things on the on the Elko till I come circle back for the LS swap. So um right now, like I said, I think I just wanna do that on the Impala because the Impala's a dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how slow it is. And if I build a new motor, new transmission, I could get in the car, crank it up and go wherever I wanna go at any given time because it has new suspension, new brakes, pretty much everything on the car is new. So um, like I said, I won't have this intermittent issue where like the car, you know what I'm saying? Like the idle goes up, comes down, goes up, comes down. Um, and then also too, like, like I said, man, it just have more power. It'd be a lot more fun to drive the car. But anyways, man, um, I'm not going to hold y'all too long. I know this is a long video. Um, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. So you get a notification every single time we drop another video. Always remember, work hard so you can live free.